ancient tools and bones unearthed in China, suggest our early hominid ancestors left Africa, and arrived in Asia 270,000 years earlier than previously thought. Analysis of 80 newly discovered artifacts reveals that our earliest ancestors, colonized East Asia more than 2 million years ago. Until now, skeletal remains and tools found in Manisi, Georgia, dated to 1.85 million years ago, were thought to be the earliest evidence of humanity outside Africa. The tools were discovered at Shankan in the southern Chinese Loess Plateau, by a team led by Professor Zhe Zhu of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The 80 artifacts include a notch, scrapers, cobble, hammer stones, and pointed pieces. All show signs of use, with the stone intentionally flaked. Most of the newly found tools were made of quartzite and quartz, which likely came from the foothills of the Kindling Mountains 3 to 6 miles to the south of the site, as well as the streams flowing from the mountain range. Fragments of 2.2 million year old animal bone were also found. Professor Robin Dennell of Exeter University, who was involved in the research, said, Our discovery means it is necessary now to reconsider the timing of when early humans left Africa. The Chinese Loess Plateau covers a 10,500 square mile area. Over the last 2.6 million years, between 300 and 1,000 feet of wind-blown dust, known as Loess, has been deposited in the area. The 80 stone artifacts were predominantly found in 11 different layers of fossil soils, which developed in a warm and wet climate. A further 16 items were found in 6 layers of loess that developed under colder and drier conditions. These 17 different layers of loess and fossil soils were formed during a period spanning almost a million years. This shows that early humans occupied the Chinese Loess Plateau under very different climatic conditions, between 1.2 and 2.1 million years ago. The loess containing these stone tools were dated by linking the magnetic properties of the layers, to known and dated changes in Earth's magnetic field. Prior to the finding, the earliest evidence of hominins outside of Africa came from Dmanisi, in Georgia. In 2009, archaeologists unearthed six ancient skeletons dating back 1.8 million years in the hills of Georgia. At the time, the Georgian bones, which include incredibly well-preserved skulls and teeth, were believed to be the earliest humans ever found outside of Africa. The remains belong to a race of short early humans with small primitive brains, who walked and ran like modern people. They were found alongside stone tools, animal remains and plants, suggesting they hunted and butchered meat. The new ancestors, discovered in Manisi, were around 60 inches tall and had brains half the size of modern-day human beings. Professor David Lord Kipanids, the general director of the Georgian National Museum, said at the time, before our findings, the prevailing view was that humans came out of Africa almost one million years ago. We also believed that they already had sophisticated stone tools, and that their body anatomy was quite advanced in terms of brain capacity and limb proportions. But what we are finding is quite different. He said Africa was still the unchallenged cradle of mankind, but added, Georgia may have been the cradle of the first Europeans. Archaeologists believe that the first true humans, a race of squat people called Homo habilis, evolved in Africa some 2.3 million years ago. They were followed by a taller athletic species called Homo erectus, who migrated out of Africa to colonize Europe and Asia. In 2015, Experts claim to have discovered the common ancestor for all modern humans, Homo sapiens, and their extinct relatives including Homo habilis, Homo erectus and Neanderthals. A partially complete lower jaw, uncovered in the Afar region of Ethiopia, is thought to belong to a new species that may have been the first member of the Homo family. Scientists believe the fossil, known as LD350-1, is recognizably human, but also has more primitive features that suggests it is older than other fossils belonging to the Homo family. Researchers who have digitally reconstructed the jaws of other ancient human ancestors, say the fossil matches what they would expect from this common ancestor. The discovery, unearthed in the Leti Jararu area of Afar, has put a new date on the emergence of the first man from our more ape-like ancestors. Speaking at the time, Dr. Brian Vilmar, of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, who helped lead the fossil hunters, said, 
in spite of a lot of searching, fossils on the Homo lineage older than 2 million years ago are very rare. To have a glimpse of the very earliest phase of our lineage's evolution is particularly exciting. LD351 reveals that many of the anatomical patterns we see in 2 million year old Homo, were established much earlier in the evolution of the genus. At 2.8 million years ago, we see relatively evolved Homo traits in combination with other much more primitive anatomical features. The full findings of the new study were published in the journal Nature.